The Pond by Emily Joyce. Thanks for joining everyone. I love hearing all your comments. So why don't you leave a comment and tell me the stories you'd like to hear or the characters you'd like to meet again. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Counting Ship channel. I'm really excited about our adventure today. I've been asked by my friend the honeybee if we'd like to come and help him. My honeybee friend is called Buzz and he's going to give us a ride on his back. But you have to be very small to ride on a honeybee. So we're going to have to shrink. And to shrink, we really need to focus our minds. So close your eyes and make sure you get nice and comfortable. And we're going to take some deep breaths. And each time you breathe out, we'll feel ourselves getting smaller, like letting the air out of a balloon. So when you're ready, let's take a nice deep breath in and breathe out. Fantastic. Now we're about half the size that we were, but we need to be smaller. So let's try again. Breathe in and feel yourself shrinking as we breathe out. Really good. We're nearly there. Let's try one last breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. And now we're teeny tiny. And you can begin to look out through your mind's eye. See how small we are on the bed. Your bed sheets look like a vast field. And here comes Buzz, our honeybee friend. And we're so tiny that as Buzz lands next to us, we're a little smaller than he is. Captain Buzzdefer of the Queen's Own Boozeliers here, at your service. Hello, Buzz. No need to be so formal with me. And this is my friend. Hello, old bean. Just like to put the best wing forward, as it were. How are you? Blooming marvellous. Just came back from an evening on the roses. Blooming good nectar on the roses. Might have overindulged, come to think. <clears throat> Oof, tasted the honey in that. Well, I'm glad you're well. Oh, good golly. Me, yes. No, it's not me that's the problem, Emily. It's my friend Toadie. <coughs> I mean, Toby. Toby the Toad. Toby the Toad? What's the matter with him? Oh, Toby's got the love bug. Got himself all worked up about a little frog. Only he's a toad, so she's not interested. Toby's in love. Well, I'm not sure what we can do to help, but we'll give it a go. Oh, you are sweet old thing. Here, jump aboard. Watch the old stinger. So let's climb on Buzz's back. And we're so small, we fit right on top. As if we're riding a horse. I heard that, you know. And I'll have you know I'm very much better than a horse. They can only go back and forwards, sideways, things like that. I can go up and down. Like this window. Could a horse get through a window like this? Whoops, sorry. Little bang there, but we're all right. Whoops, and again. Tricky old window, this one. Ah, here we go. And we're off. Out of the window and into the cool evening air. And hold on tight. We're going so fast down the street, over the cars parking on the driveways, as people head home after busy days. 
and as Buzz swoops us down lower, we can see a large tabby cat swaggering along a garden wall. And we're going higher again now, as high as the chimney pots, and higher still as we fly over rooftops. See all the birds lined up on the telephone wires. And we're swooping down now towards an enormous house. Hold on, chaps, I know a shortcut, says Buzz, as he lowers us down and through an open window in the beautiful mansion house. And the window takes us into a large kitchen with a kettle boiling on the stove. And there's a puppy asleep in his dog bed. But he raises his head and watches as we fly past. Had a bit of a run-in with that old boy there earlier. He's called Charlie, says Buzz over his shoulder as he flies us through the kitchen. He was sniffing out in the garden and gave me a bit of a chase. Oh dear, I hope you didn't fall out with Charlie. He looks like such a good boy curled up in his bed. No, no, he's a playful old thing. Bit of a joke, that's all. Said to him, look here, man. Can't you leave a bee alone when he's out for a spot of supper in the old rhododendrons? Thought I was going to have to threaten him with the old stinger. All friends now, of course. Aren't we, Charlie? So wave to Charlie as we fly past. And see as he wags his tail. And we're heading out of the kitchen, through some large French doors, which lead into the most beautiful garden. And we're flying over borders of pink roses and white chrysanthemums, and over a vegetable patch. I wonder what they're growing. And just beyond the vegetable patch, I can see an enormous pond. But now that we're so small, it looks as big as a sea to us. This must be where Toby the Toad lives. And sure enough, Buzz is coming down to land on a paving slab close to the water. Huzzah, here we are. I bet Toby's still moping. Oh, yeah, here he is. Toby! I heard that, says the toad, who's sitting next to the pond, looking out over the water. Oh dear, he doesn't look very happy. Hello, Toby. I'm Emily. And this is my friend. What are you thinking about? I am a toad in love. What does a toad in love think about? He thinks about his beloved. And who is your beloved? Oh, she is the most beautiful frog in the whole world. Even her name is like a rich and creamy bar of chocolate flies. My beautiful green Angelique. But such a creature can never love an ugly toad like me. Oh, come on, old boy. Pull yourself together. She's not even very nice. No. I will not hear a word against her, says Toby. She is perfect, my darling Angelique. Well, I'm sorry to hear you're unhappy. Oh no, here she comes. Look, it's Angelique. And sure enough, there's a group of frogs hopping from the water of the pond to the lily pad and back in the water. That looks like fun. I wonder which one is Angelique. She is the one with the sparkle of stars in her eyes and the smell like a strawberry, says Toby. She has the webbed fingers of a goddess. She's the one glaring at Toby, says Buzz. And indeed, one of the frogs is looking over at us. Perhaps Angelique does like Toby after all. Look, Toby, she's coming over. Ash the main goat. Go away, Toby, says Angelique. Oh dear, she doesn't look very happy to see him. 
I told you, stop following me. But my little dumpling, I did not follow you. You see, we were here long before you arrived, says Buzz. Be quiet, you stupid wasp. Wasp? How dare you? I'm a bee. My little mushroom, it's true. I have been staying away from you as you asked. Not far away enough, says Angelique. I do not want to see your ugly toad face ever again. It makes me feel... Angelique, that's not a very nice thing to say. I don't know who you are, but you look like a tiny bug. And I don't listen to tiny bugs. I eat them. Au revoir. And Angelique hops into the water. Oh, my heart is breaking. (laughs) Oh, my Angelique. Who can love such a humble toad? (laughs) There, there, Toadster. Come on, old boy. I've got a good mind to show her a lesson or two with the old stinger. It's not her fault. I am disgusting. (laughs) Is he going on about Angelique again? Look. Bobbing at the top of the water is an orange goldfish. You need to get over it, mate, says the goldfish. She's not going to have you. Stop crying in the pond. I don't want to live in salt water, you know. Give your boy a break. I think Toby's just upset. I can see he's upset, says the goldfish. I've never met anybody so wet, and I live under water. Well, what's the old boy to do? He's heartbroken, says Buzz. If I were him, I'd just go to the sea. Go to the sea? How would that help? Well, when I broke up with my girlfriend, my mum says, don't worry, there's plenty more fish in the sea. And I says, but mum, I'm in a pond. And she says, oh yeah, that's unfortunate, that is. But you'd love it in the sea. There's loads of fish. And I says, but what good is that? I haven't got any legs, how am I meant to get there? And she says, oh yeah, you better get back together with your girlfriend then. But I says, I can't remember what she looks like. I've got the memory of a goldfish. And she says, well, you are a goldfish. And I says, oh yeah. But um, I can't remember why I started that story. Oh, now I see what you mean. Perhaps Toby just needs to meet some other toads. Who's Toby? The crying toad. Oh, right. Who are you? I'm Buzz. Oh, right. And who am I? Oh, for the love of honey. No, Buzz. He's given me an idea. If only there was some way we could take Toby somewhere else. Somewhere bigger, like a stream or a lake, where he could meet other toads. Wouldn't you like that, Toby? Nothing matters to me any more without my Angelique. Well, sometimes the dog here, Charlie, gets out of the garden through that little hole in the fence. And he comes back soaking wet. So there must be a stream or something. But who knows how far it is. I'm not sure Toby can hop that far. But I bet Charlie could take him. What if he jumped on Charlie's back? Emily, you're crazy. Charlie's practically a wild animal. You can't direct a beast like that. Well... What if he was chasing something? Or chasing someone? Well, yes, I suppose so. But what would he chase? Hang on. Why are you looking at me like that? Nope, absolutely not. Yes, Buzz. It's the only way. Nope, nope and nope. What am I supposed to do? Lead him out here and you and Toby jump on his back and I get chased all the way to the stream? Yes, exactly. Come on, Buzz, it's the only way. Absolutely not, old girl. I shan't. You're the only one qualified for such a dangerous mission. The only one brave enough. Oh, for goodness. Right, fine. Toby, this is for you. Stand by to jump on the command. Wait, this sounds dangerous. Where am I jumping? Don't worry, Toby. 
Just jump when I tell you. Oh my, I don't know about this, Emily. Look, Buzz is going into the house to wake up Charlie. For the queen and the hive, huzzah! Don't you wag at me, Charlie. Come on, old boy, chase me if you dare. That's it, ha <laughs> They're coming out of the house. You old rogue, you dog-breathed fiend. And here comes Buzz. Gosh, he's quite fast, really. Oh my, very and fast. And here comes Charlie. Oh, oh good Jump, Toby. Toby. Yes. Here we go, and we're going through the hole in the fence, and we're travelling so fast, out into the woods beyond the garden. Come on, old boy, can't you tell when he's joking? <laughs> oh, Emily, it is too fast, I can't hold on. Look, Toby, we're not far from the stream, just a little further. Listen about the whole dog breath thing. Charlie, let me explain. We made it, Toby. We're in the stream. And Buzz is flying high in the air now, safely out of Charlie's reach. Charlie! Charlie! And now somebody in the house is calling him. And he's going home. And as we climb onto a rock, Buzz flies down to join us. Well, that taught old Charlie boy what happens when you mess with the Queen's own boozleers. You did very well, Buzz. What do you reckon, Toby? Hmm? Toby? Oh my goodness! Look! And just the other side of the rocks is another toad. I have never seen such another toad, says Toby. Crikey, here we go again. She is magical. She has the words of an angel. But who is she waving at? I think she's waving at you, Toby. No, I don't think so, because she is smiling. Go and say hello, old boy. And Toby hops along to make a new friend. I think Toby is going to forget Angelique rather quickly. What an eventful day. And I keep forgetting how small we are. But in this woods by the stream, suddenly I feel tiny. See how the flowers tower above us, as big as trees. And the stream is like a river or an ocean. But now I'm beginning to feel quite tired. Tell me about it, old girl. Hop on, I know where to go. Let's hop onto Buzz's back once more. And we're buzzing towards the lily pads, where the lilies are in full bloom on top of the water of the stream. There's no bed quite like a flower bed, says Buzz. And he lands us in the centre of a white lily. A hive is all very well, but it gets a bit busy, you know, whereas here it's rather nice and quiet. He's right. It is very peaceful on this flower and the lily fills the air with its clean floral smell and we can lie down amongst these soft petals and the evening sun is shining on us and it feels warm and comfortable where we are. I think Buzz is already asleep and I can't blame him. The sound of the stream is so relaxing as the water passes us by and the light catches over the water and we can rest here now just as long as you'd like. But I hope you'll join me for the next adventure with the counting ship. Good night.